How am I? I do good work. <laughs> what was wrong with me anyway? You suffered an intracerebral edema with proximal spinal cord compression. Ouch. Is that as bad as it sounds? Worse. But you're alert and coherent. Your pupils are even and reactive. You don't seem to have suffered any nerve damage, so you should make a full recovery. Does Jason know? I'm about to tell him. The test results are good. She's reacting excellent. She should make a full recovery. You can thank me at any time. I have great appreciation for your skill, Dr. Drake. It's just your bedside manner with the patient's family that could use a little work. Excuse me. Good news. You're gonna make a full recovery. It's kind of strange. How to wake up and find out that I had brain surgery. <sighs> but in a way, I guess it's a blessing, right? At least now I don't have to be afraid because all the bad stuff is already over. Don't take a whitewater rafting in the next 24 hours, but you don't have to treat her with kid gloves. She's out of danger. I would give you some advice, so be honest with her about everything that happened. It'll help Sam be less disoriented if she knows the truth. This has all been pretty crazy for you. You have no idea. I mean, on one hand, we barely know each other. And on the other, I'm, I'm your daughter, and you're waiting to find out if I'm even going to live or not. I'm glad that you are. Thank you. Or caring. We have a lot to talk about. And I'm really glad that we have the chance to do that. Me too. And I'll let you talk to Jason now. Thank you. Hey. Do you think you can help me? Could you jump a little bit? Yeah. <sighs> you should get some rest. You need to stop worrying. The doctor said that I'm gonna be fine. Uh, that's all I wanted. What's wrong? Did something else happen? Did they have to do another operation? Did they have to do the hysterectomy? No. no. You promise? I promise. I promise you. You can still have kids. Good. And you are going to be Good. A great I'm going to get on that right away. You know, as soon as we get out of this house. Okay, Sam. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait to be your wife anymore. Sam. It's about time I became your wife. Sam. you say as long as you stay here you almost died because of me but i didn't you promised that you were gonna be here and you said that we would be together jason you put a ring on my finger remember yes yes 
So why? Why? Why are you saying this? I took over Sonny's business. I'm in charge now. I can't get out. That makes me a target. And I'm not going to watch you go through something like this no, again. No, I am not afraid. You almost had to have a hysterectomy because of a bullet that was meant for me. You want to have children. I want to have anything. your children. I want to live our, our lives no, together, can't, Jason. I can't keep putting you at risk. You love me. I know you do. Jason, you don't have to do this. Please. Please don't. Don't do this. Don't leave me. Jason, please. Please, Jason. I love you. Jason. Jason, don't go. Don't. Please, Alexis, go get him. Get him before he goes on the elevator, please. Jason! Sam! Sam. No. No. It's all right. It's all right. No, please don't let him leave. Don't let him leave me. Jason, no. You okay? Yeah. I will be. I just needed to cry for a couple minutes. Fight. Go do what you need to do. I just came to look at the water. I don't have any place to go. Neither do I. Jason is doing what he <laughs> believes is the right thing to do. And look at Jason. He, he's just worried. He gets like this. <laughs> Go tell him to come back and tell him everything's going to be okay, he please. Me. He loves me. There's no question about that. And I love him, too. Jason is my life. He is my family. I am nothing without him. Do you understand that? I am nothing without it's him. Truth anymore. You have me if you want and I will promise you this. It will all be okay, Sam. You have to believe me. It will all be okay. No. It's okay. It's okay.